Well, hello there, this is Tamil, and today I wanted to talk about how to make a perfect circle in Photoshop. Let's say you want to make a perfect circle with a textured brush. So here's the textured brush that I have, and I want to make a circle with that brush. And sometimes it's not perfect like this. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's not perfect by itself, but you want to make it even more perfect. To do this, you can hit in here ellipse tool, or you click U. Uh, make sure you have path selected and once you drag it out hold shift and now it's going to create that path and in here while your path is selected you can right click stroke path and in here you can select the tool you want brush and depending on stimulate pressure depending on your brush it's going to simulate pressure so let's make a simple circle so this is what you get without the pressure and if you click here and you do simulate pressure this is what you get with the pressure and it depends on the brush it's going to give you different results this is super easy there's another shortcut for this you can click enter and now it's only going to do that without any options but it will remember the pressure so if you have pressure off it will remember to have it off every time you click enter and it also depends on the size of the brush so if i do for example 15 or 10 and i click you see that it gets a lot smaller and a lot less thick. So it will depend on the size of your brush and on the pressure. How do you make this even more streamlined than it is already? Well, a simple way to do this is you can create an action for this. Action is simply put things that Photoshop will remember uh, when you do them and can repeat them. And let's make a new action. Action circle. Click on the ellipse and make sure we are on path. And then we create the ellipse, right click, stroke path, and it will remember simulate pressure or not. So let's do no pressure and click OK. And now we have this thing selected and we want to click off canvas and then we delete the path and then we stop. And also it remembered that I moved the circle. Let's remove the moving circle from the action. And once you play this action with a different brush, so for example, I have this pencil brush and now if I play this action, it's going to create another circle with that pencil brush. And because we did not include pressure sensitivity, it's not going to include it. Because if you use pressure for this brush, you can see that it's a little bit more transparent. If you want to have it transparent like this, then make sure to have pressure on when you click on the menu. And this is about it. I really like this technique. It saves a lot of time. Now you can just create this and you can play around with the perspective and you recreate this and now we have a simple cylinder that is obviously not in perfect perspective but it's something to look out for if you want to create quick uh, thumbnails or anything like that for circles. Thank you for watching. Please share this video if it helped you like it, uh, subscribe and obviously happy painting. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section.